Hi, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. Is that recording? I, I thought don't there was know. a red light on it. <laughs> Ducks. We're in Shenley. We're in Shenley in Hertfordshire on a park bench. Yes. Because there's a duck pond here. Uh, admittedly, without any ducks, which it's makes a little it... duck house. Yeah, but there's... Well, they might all be huddled up in there, I guess, but right now it's just a pond. Uh, <laughs> and the weird thing that looks like Winnie the Pooh might dip his hand in there to get honey out... <laughs> uh, the roundhouse, I think it said it They was said it was a jail. The little thing by the local historian said it was some, some centuries-old jail that, uh, that was used. But there's ducks. And we have a story about ducks. We have a story about Mad Cat and Tom and ducks, don't we? Now, Mad Cat and Tom has... Yeah, that was actually the last video. So this, this is slightly... This is not a tale of piracy. This is a tale... No. <laughs> this is a tale of... That's just the guy from Hot Fuzz. Matt. Oh, yes. Uh, this is a tale of ducks. Do you want to give the backstory of Trevor the Golden Duck at York? So, York University, where, as you all know, we went, is a nature reserve, basically. It's got a massive lake. It's now got two, actually, hasn't it's it? It's a swamp. It's a swamp with some ducks on it. Some waterfowl on it. Yep. And uh, geese. Angry geese. Uh, Vicious, vicious geese. Smelly poo. Yeah. Well, it's a plastic-lined lake that's had ducks on it for 50 years, so... Yeah. Guano. <laughs> Fountain! Aerosolised guano! It's amazing. They apparently did a water quality test on it once, and... Yeah. But there are notable ducks on that. Yes, and there is a one duck called Trevor. Yes. Trevor, who... the, Trevor the Golden Duck. I say it is. I'm not sure now. If I had a hat, I'd take it off. Trevor the Golden Duck, one summer the porters found it, belly up, in the water. The Students' Union, which, uh, as previously mentioned, I was accidentally head of, um, was mandated to buy a new Golden Duck by student boat. How do you buy a duck? You can't go to a duck sanctuary. Turns out you can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you help me get the duck. Because where, 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 do, where does one get a duck from? Right. It, it turns out a service station on the M62. Yeah, you get it from a duck dealer. There, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. There are <laughs> shuffles. I can't there, do hand actions <laughs> while I'm holding a mic. There, yeah, just, 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 <laughs> all, right, all right. I got two ruddy shell ducks. And a mallard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it turns out that you, you can find rare duck dealers. Oh, okay. And for 60 quid, supplied by the alumni fund, uh, you can email them and say, we would like to purchase a pair of ruddy shell ducks. And they will say, that's fine. Meet us at Ferry Bridge Services at this time. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I know can drive? <laughs> did I, did I so, call you? Did I email you? I can't remember. I'm probably in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? Are we get in the Matmobile, as it was then? Oh, I'd forgotten the Matmobile. Do you want to, do you want to fit on the Matmobile? Because that was... You, you could, if you want to see the Matmobile, watch Breaking the News. Oh, yeah. I still think you should have kept the vinyl on the front with Matt Gray. I had it somewhere, then I moved house once and I lost it. I would have yeah. kept it on it. I liked it because I never did the gag of anagramming that. Because it was just uh, the Matt Gray on the front of his car for breaking the news was just stick on vinyl. Uh, and you can have Gamey Tart, which is a good, a good anagram. <laughs> uh, there is, a, there is a, a worse one if you tip the M upside down to make it a W, but I won't say that. Um, so we got a nap, we drove the half hour from York to Ferry Bridge Services yep. by a big power station. Big power station, yep. And a motorway. It's a lovely area. <laughs> yeah, it's, we, we drove up there, we go into the car park, and we meet our duck dealer at the back. <laughs> Wasn't it one of those, hi, have you got some ducks for us? Yeah, because <laughs> you're taking photos, that's the other reason you were there, you were taking photos. Um, Documenting the event, I'm sure yeah. we can put some up here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he opens, I, I give him 60 quid, he opens the, uh, the back, and there is a and box. It, and, it, and it was just like in Pulp Fiction when they opened the briefcase, when he opened the boot of his, <laughs> of his no, Volvo. <laughs> you know what, I'm going to put up the photo, it's not going to be a Volvo now. No, Either it's... you're going to seem like you've got an incredible memory, or you're going to just going to slander people, that, people who, duck dealers all drive Volvos. So it's a well-known fact. Yeah. Um, and he takes out a box of duck. <laughs> it's, it's got holes in it, it's got string tied around it, he hands it over to me, I pick it up, and there is a flapping noise from inside, and the box shakes a little, it's like, there's ducks in that box. And the box had holes in it, and yeah. you can see in the photo, I'm sure. Yeah. It, 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 this, we, we, were, we were going with what we were told and yeah, we researched did, we were the best ways of transporting live animals. Oh god, yes. We, 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 yeah. <laughs> we didn't, we weren't just some random students <laughs> turning up, oh, we'll just get some ducks. No, we actually had to do research on that. Um, 
It was in your boot. They're in your. And as soon as you closed the boot, it was dark in there. It's just it's this silent. occasional kind of shuffling noise. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> and I'm live tweeting it. No pun intended. Because um, this was Twitter, Twitter was kind of a newish thing. That, that must that have point. been 2009 then. Must have been, yeah. We were live tweeting the, the duck delivery because the student TV station is waiting to get footage of the ducks. Because <laughs> this is a big event. We are restoring golden ducks to the lake. Yeah. Get there, unload, unpack the thing. What was it like? Because I can't actually remember much of it. Because I was like, oh, good God, what do I do with this? See, it's one of those things, it's been so long now, I can remember it as the pictures rather than yes. being there. So I I, I, I am looking at, a pic, looking at the picture in my mind yeah. and then turning that into emotions rather than the yeah. other way around. So I, I can't actually remember it. I am not dressed as a pirate at this point. This, this, that would have been too much. I'm, I'm in my <laughs> standard union hoodie. Um, and we take take the box of duck to the side of the lake. I Good think point. I was stood up, uh, yeah, you were on, the on the bridge, yeah. on the bridge with my camera. Zoom so, lens and things like that. Yeah, just to be out of the way of the ducks. So then yeah, the... and then I open the box and it's the weirdest thing because I realized, I knew intellectually there are ducks in this box. I have paid a man some money. He has <laughs> given me a box that has flapped. There are ducks. <laughs> I haven't checked the breed of the ducks. I could have been sold a pair of mallards for all I know, but... <laughs> I open the box, and there are two golden, ruddy shell ducks in there, and one of them looks up at me and goes, Mwah! and at that point, I was surprised. <laughs> I don't know why I was surprised there were two ducks in the box that was meant to contain two, duck, two ducks. And then they sort of went, flap! <laughs> I got a lovely picture of you. Yeah. When the duck is jumping out, yeah. and you're going, way! Yeah, it's genuine <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Um, and they went out on the lake. Now, this is something I can, I'm going to admit this now, because I didn't at the time and no one called me on it. And it's now years later, and I'm fairly certain I can get away with saying this. Dun, dun, dun. I am fairly certain that if anyone from the, uh, like the, what was it, People and Planet Society at York had noticed, they'd have complained about the ducks. Because you cannot buy ornamental ducks that have not been pinioned which means they've had the end flight feathers clipped off their wings. Oh. So they don't fly away. Yeah. And every ornamental duck in Britain, that happens to. Yeah. But in Australia, that I think that's not legal. In a couple of other countries, it's not legal. It's a bit like decloying cats. Ooh, I didn't know that was a thing. That oh, yeah. harsh. It's hard. Uh, uh, for cats, it's the equivalent of cutting off the first, yeah. at the first knuckle. Um, for ducks, I don't think it's quite as bad, but it's, you know, these ducks will never be able to properly fly. Mm. They can do the running thing across the lake, they can get some speed up, but they will never be able to take off. And that's, when you think about it, quite ethically dodgy. Yeah. And I could have argued, well, the students have mandated me to get these ducks. Uh, I'm going to get these ducks. I don't think anyone would have complained. But at the same time, I had this moment of going, I hope no one calls me on this. It was one of the few things during the career I went, oh, I hope no one spots that. So had they? Yes, they had. As evidenced by the fact, on my graduation day, the, the day I was kind of leaving, leaving York, I, you know, parents had come down, graduation photos, everything. So, there was a queue on Heslington Road coming out of the university. <laughs> because everyone's having to drive around a pair of bleeding, ruddy shell ducks that have wandered out of the campus and onto the road. <laughs> You want a legacy from my time there? <laughs> my legacy was actually having a... Thanks for pointing that at me. Was actually having one of the student mandate. We got some ducks. I'm sorry, we just got an amazing look from that guy that drove past. <laughs> 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 who's, who's filming in Shenley? <laughs> <laughs> By a duck pond. On a, on a chainsaw carved bench. This is a chainsaw, chainsaw carved, carved bench. bench. Um, for a queen. For, for, the, for the... Diamond Jubilee. Diamond. Blimey. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all I got. That's a story about some ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the, the subscribing and the viewing, because uh, between that and my channel and everything else, we've got a proper windproof microphone, which is handy because it is gusting to 40 miles an hour here today. And hopefully it's working for you right now. Uh, it's the first time we've used it, yeah. and we will be using it for the next four videows, three, three videos. Because we are in Shenley. 
Shenley. Shenley in Hertfordshire. Uh, because it because it was somewhere. Yes, we were, <laughs> we looked at a map. We looked at the traffic. We could get here without too much traffic, if too you, much effort. If you live in a small village somewhere a bit north of London, we may be coming to visit your village quite soon. You will see a, you will see a tweet just as we start recording, which is what I did for this one. <laughs> and the first reply is always. <laughs> Where is the park bench? That's not the point of that tweet. The point of that tweet is that if you recognise that park bench, come see us. It, 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 consider it a tiny... It's a treasure tiny, hunt. Yeah, it's a tiny, time-limited treasure hunt. If we were going to tell you where it was, we would tell you where it was. Is... Is... Don't, don't worry about it. Was is. 